Get ready to match the star, Dorson Dean, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Mary Wick, Richard Dawson, and Betty White as we play the star-studded big money match game 76. And now here's the star of match game 76, Gene Rayburn. Good. Thank you for joining us. We're going to have a good time today because we have a beautiful bunch over here. What's your problem? I have two left shoes. I packed in a hurry. I guess. <laughs> well, that's funny. I have two right she shoes. Does. I walk strangely. I list. <laughs> you have two right shoes? And I list. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. That's Welcome, late. one and all. Now, listen, there's one guy here we haven't seen in such a long time. I think we ought to do something to, to give him a special warm yes. welcome. Orson, where have oh, you been? Yes. 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 Where have you been? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Where have you been? You look grand. I am, the problem is that I am too rich to work very often. Oh. And my accountant doesn't allow me to come out much. I see. All right, Orson, this is a stick-up. <laughs> <laughs> I have a public announcement. What is your public announcement? I have now been 28 days without cigarettes. Hallelujah! Oh. And a girl! Hang in there! Yay! Let's say hello to Sandy Fenimore! Sandy, how are you, my dear? Now, let's see. How much money do you won? $6,300. 6300 dollars I know. <laughs> Sixty-three hundred. What do you do with that? I don't know. I'm going to retire at a very early age. Going to retire at an early age with sixty-three hundred dollars. Well, if it's wisely invested, you could make up to five hundred dollars a year. Okay. <laughs> now she's won uh, her third game. Uh, last time we were together, time ran out before she could have a shot at another big whack of money, and we're going to let her do that right after we let you watch this. Now, for a go at the big money here, we polled a recent studio audience, Sandy, and we got their best response to this. Blank pills. Now, it's $500. If you match the answer, they gave most frequently. $250. If you match the answer, which was their second most popular one, and $100 for their third most frequently given answer. And let's see what kind of help you'll get from our celebrities. Richard? Sleeping pills. Sleeping pills is one. Betty. Well, I'm just reminiscing. Birth control pills. Birth control. You bet you're reminiscing. <laughs> I didn't ask. I just the conversation. <laughs> oh, all right. And Charles. Charles. Carter's little liver pills. <laughs> Carter's little liver pills. <laughs> so there they are. Carter's Little Liver Pills, Birth Control Pills, and Sleeping Pills, Sandy. You want one of those, or do you want one of your own? I think I'll take birth control pills. You will. Oh, you better. Betty's <laughs> answer. Then call me in the morning. <laughs> All right. You're going to take birth control pills, eh? Okay, Sandy. <laughs> now, we'll find out if we've got birth control pills up there. Let's begin down at the bottom and reveal, if you please, sir, the $100 response. Pep pills. Oh. You don't take those? No. No. Okay. I wish I had a couple. You wish? No, you don't need any. We don't <laughs> want you to have any either. Let's see if we get birth control pills out of the $250 number. <laughs> Sleeping pills. All right. Uh, there's Richard's ah. answer, right? There we go. Last control for Carter's birth control. Liver. Here we go. Oh. Hey! Picked up another, that was a good, good judgment. This little girl's a very astute player here. She's got another five hundred dollars. She's going to play for ten times that amount now, or five thousand. And you've got to match one celebrity exactly. Okay, I'm going to try Richard. You're going to try Richard. Well, now, now you've selected an answer. I'll give you a try. <laughs> <laughs> and win some money, of course. Win some money. Oh, naturally, sure. Okay, here we go. I'll get it. It's worth $5,000. And it goes like this. Uh, band blank. Band blank. B-A-N-D blank. 
Okay, he's finished. He made his mind up very quickly there, Sandy. Get your ESP flowing over to Richard and come up with the same answer he's written on the card, and you get five thousand dollars. Band aid. Band aid. Band aid. She said, "Band aid." Richard will match you for the five thousand. I'm a big fan of Dick Clark. Bandstand. Yeah, come to the aid. <laughs> You got eleven thousand eight hundred dollars. Congratulations to Sandy Fenmore. You got rooters out there. All the ones. Where's your husband? Or oh, the ones bouncing up? That's your husband. How come he's not bouncing with the rest of them? There he is. <laughs> All right, we'll carry on there right after these messages just for you. Really? I thought I knew all about my high cholesterol. But then my doctor told me something I didn't know. While I was building my life, plaque was building in my arteries. Here we go. We're ready to meet another player. Are you all ready to say hello to Gene Hagley? Hello there. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. No, we want to find out about you, Gene. Okay, I'm from Canyon Country. And from where? Canyon Country. Town and country? Canyon country. Oh, Canyon country. Uh -huh. Where's that? Magic Mountain. Oh, yes, of yeah. course, indeed. Okay, yeah. and uh, I'm married. My husband's with the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. We have four daughters, um, aging 17 to 4. And I'm just you have really... a 17-year-old daughter? Yes. Girl like you who only looks 23? Yes. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I don't ever want to stop hearing that. <laughs> Well, we welcome and you. I'm excited about being here, and we're, I hope I can do real good. <laughs> we're excited to have you here, Gene, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank and you. we'll ask you to make a selection here in round one. I'll take B for boys, because I have none yet. Oh. <laughs> well, perhaps we can remedy that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Take you know, I was born way down in Tennessee. I was married when I was three. That's the same idea. That's right. 17 years. Yeah. Get it? Got it. That was the humor there. Gotcha. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Set. Mary, listen yeah. to this. <laughs> the used car salesman said, that customer was weird. When I showed him the car, he didn't kick the tires, he blanked them. <laughs> weird, weird, is the weird, weird, weird is the word. When used I car salesman said, that customer was weird. When I showed him the car, he didn't kick the tires, he blanked them. Yeah, sure he blanked them. Oh. Very good. Okay. Hey, weirdo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. He's finished his lunch and he liked the Boston cream pie. <laughs> I'm sorry. This uh, station is closed. Okay, here we go, Gene. The used car salesman said that customer was weird. When I showed him the car, he didn't kick the tires, he blanked them. Pinched them. Pinched them. Pinched them. Pinched them. Well, she said pinched the tires. What do you say to that? A tire pincher, that's too weird, even for yes, me. Yes, no, right. My customer kissed the tires. Kissed the tires. Oh, that that would be a weird thing to do, Gene, wouldn't it? Wow. Weird but romantic is yes. my feeling on the subject. I also said kiss. Right. Only it, only Italians pinch the tires, don't they? I was going to say I have Italian tires. That's why I kissed them. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, it is. Three tire kissers up in the upper tier there. What have we got in the lower tier, well, Mary? Well, I'll tell you, my man was more interested in the condition of the tires, so he bit him. He bit the tires. <laughs> when I saw the car, he didn't kick the tires. He pinched them, according to her. El Bitto. Bitto. He bit the tires. Three kissers, two biters. <laughs> yeah, what wow. What are you doing? Now we go. Now, now, now we go. Now. Oh, it's well. Go on, I love man. sitting in this seat. It's, it's a great yeah, spot. And yeah. everybody says, this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't <laughs> He slashed them. Slashed them. <laughs> Three kissers, two biters, one slasher. <laughs> now, let's see what we got for Sandy. Hey, you hear that Fred got separated? No. no. Well, let me tell you about it. It was horrible. His wife separated his blank from his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my. That's one depressing. more time. Oh, you got it. It's all right. He okay. Did. I don't know how she did. Okay. Did you hear that Fred got separated? It's handy. It was horrible. His wife separated his blank from his head. His body? His body. All right. 
What do you say to that? I say, chacun a son goût, to each his own. Body. Body. That's one for Sandy. Very good old boy. What do you say? Size 12. Body. A size 12. Looking for a body. Margaret Little Liverpool. Out. No. Another body. Okay. Why didn't the pill know? Fred got separated. His wife separated his his body from his head, Mary. I don't want to play because she's got five thousand dollars on a ten waist. Did you notice her waist? Yeah. I'm depressing that ten waist. Look at those gorgeous teeth. I know. Have his body. Body. That's it. Work out your unresolved hostilities here. That's the reason, main reason we book here. Somebody's down there. Get it. Get it. Right. Who you got down there, Richard? There's a body there and one here too. Okay. Looking for one more body. I so my. <laughs> I ain't got no body. Oh, body. Holy mackerel. That's very hard to do on a first round question. Now, Jean, <laughs> A or B? I'll try B again. B again. Now, you got to match everybody to stay yeah. in the game and achieve a tie. Listen carefully, one and all. Tarzan say, oh. Jane, have baby. Mm. Me suspect cheetah because baby have blank good. good very good are you thinking about it gene all right get to you in a moment or so <laughs> All righty. I don't know what else to say. This is depressing. Now we come to Jean Higley. Tarzan say, Jane have baby. Me suspect cheetah cause baby have blank. Tail. Tail. Good. Six tails is what the little girl needs. Yes. Orson? Yes, Lord Foxcroft's true son and heir would never have a tail. Wasn't what was his real name, Tarzan? Lord Foxcroft? What wasn't was his Foxcroft. Real? What's that? Greystone. Greystone. Yeah. Greystone. I was close. All Englishmen look alike to me. Anyway, <laughs> tail. Tail. <laughs> One to Jean. Greystone. What do you say? I say hands, Christian Anderson's tail. All right. I mean, it's everybody genius so far. You're doing okay, Charles. Tail. Tail. <laughs> Tail. All right, score is now six to three. She needs three more down here to achieve a tie. Mary? I have an appointment at another. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody's got a tail. This one had a hairy bod. A hairy bod. Let me Sandy with the game. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. Come on, Betty. Now, Betty had long hair. there in the usual spot. You know where it is. While we say goodbye to Jean Hagley. It was a pleasure meeting you, my Thank dear. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Bye-bye. Goodbye. While we're spinning her up, we'll spin these messages just for you. Then hurry back, see how she does. Right now at Pearl Vision, when you buy a pair of eyeglasses. Carry on here. This gal is doing great. She's got $11,900. She's won another game. And... She could win over five thousand dollars right here and now. How do you feel, Sandy? Oh, terrific. Good. What is your waist size? It's not that small. What is it? It's not very small. I don't know what the size is. Well, let's measure she it was right now. Small. Let's face it. No, she's got a very small waist. <laughs> Mary's right. It's a ten. <laughs> it's a ten at least. What about the inseam? Oh, she's got a big waist. It's about the size of the waist. That's oh, just that's terrible. Hey, Jean, what about the inseam? You can't make up a pair of pants with a waist. Might the inseam? Old. No, we don't have time for that. <laughs> you what? I lost five pounds on match game. <laughs> just being here. Oh, all right. That's where it went. Anything you say. <laughs> now, Sandy, we pulled another studio audience somewhere along the line, and we got their best response to this. Blank Ford. Remember, it's $500 for their most frequently given response, $250 for the second, and $100 for the third. And let's see what kind of answers our celebrities will suggest. Hey, Richard. The Preds, Gerald Ford. 
Gerald Ford. Yeah. Oh, I remember oh. him. Yeah. Oh, Mary? Uh, Tennessee Ernie. Tennessee oh. Ernie Ford. Hey, Brett. Cars, cars, cars. I cars. already have that. I'm trying to see if I can get a better answer. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice, dear. I think I'll use my own. President Ford. <laughs> We've got that oh, one. No, 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 no. Gerald. I said President Gerald Ford. Oh, why Model don't you just T. say Henry and start smoking again? <laughs> <laughs> Model T. Model T Ford? Okay, so that's you that. don't, pretend, don't pretend you don't remember the Model T. I don't remember the Model T. Never heard of it. Model too. T, oh, Tennessee oh, Ernie, and Gerald Ford are the three you have. You may choose one, remember, or give us one of your own. Okay, Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford is what you want. Okay. Let's find out if we've got a Gerald Ford up there somewhere along the line. We'll begin down at the bottom and we'll reveal the $100 response. Model T is her answer. You were the symbol for the radiator cap on the Model T, weren't you? She posed for that originally. Okay. Let's see if we got a Gerald Ford out of the $250 number. Henry. Henry shows up Son after of a all these years. Never thought he'd make it. No. All right, last chance for Gerald. Here is the $500 response. There it is. You've got it again. Well, you're up to $12,400. I see it over there. You see it? All right. Now you're going to play for 10 times that amount, remember, again, or 5000 and which one have you got a little empathy going with? Oh, yeah, Richard. Yeah. Richard is your empathetic person. All right, stand there and face me. And here we go. And it's worth another 5000 This will put you up to 17400 if you get it. Blank Sun. S-O-N. Blank Sun. Or Blank Sun. Now, Sandy, he's finished. We asked you to give us an answer which you think will match his. If your empathy is going and flowing over to him, why, you'll come up with another $5,000. How do you fill in that blank? Uh, grandson? Grandson. That was the only thing I could think of. No, no other answers came to your mind That's except grandson? That's the only thing. Okay. She says grandson will match her for 5000 Richard. I thought we were going to do it, darling. I... Took Mr. Red Fox's show, Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son. Very popular TV show. Okay. Well, listen, you picked up a little more money, another $600 here in this game, and you're going to meet another player, so let's welcome Nettie Robertson. Hello there. Hi, Nettie. Now, we welcome you and ask you to tell us about yourself, Betty. Oh, I reside in Tustin. There's a super guy out in the audience I've been married to for 28 years. We have two daughters. One's married to a high school administrator. And if she's in the audience, it's very evident we're going to be grandparents very soon. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> the other daughter will go in the Air Force in a few days. Well, good luck to Nettie Robertson. Thank you. Nice to have all of your family here with us. We'll ask you to make a selection here and I'll choose. try A, please. A is what she wants, and that's what she yes. gets. Dumb Donald was so dumb. How dumb was he? I'm going to tell you how dumb he was. Instead of an electric blanket, he stuck an electric blank under the covers. <laughs> Instead of an electric blanket. I remember round one questions a little tougher, and you can run far afield here. Scan that one by one. Dumb Donald was so dumb. Instead of an electric blanket, he stuck an electric oh, blank under the covers. I think that's cute. It is cute? I love that's cute. I've done it many times. You like yeah. it? Mm. All right. Already up there and ready down here, and here we go. Oh, yeah. Nettie. Dumb Donald was so dumb, Nettie. <laughs> Instead of an electric blanket, he stuck an electric blank under the covers. Oh, an iron. Electric Iron, electric she iron. says. An electric iron under the covers. That would be a dumb thing to do. What do you say? Just because he was dumb didn't mean he wasn't kinky. He stuck an electric eel. There's a good answer. There's a good answer. What do you say? I have the definitive answer. He stuck an electric fan. Another good one. Oh, got some buttes here, That's Charles. What he's got. 
I had the same idea. Bam. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now we're looking for an electric iron. What do you say, Mary? I'm with Nettie. Iron. There's one for Nettie. And Richard. An electric wire. A wire. That'll heat them up a little. Yes. I'm right back to an electric eel. An electric eel. So one for you, and yours will be along later. Right now, we've got this for you.